wonderful that I have a job and you know I'm able to sustain myself and I'm able to be complaining about stupid things like going out and having to wake up to go to work tomorrow because honestly some people don't have jobs and some people can't even afford to go out so we're gonna be grateful the hot ass mess express as we know it tonight okay i did my hair well today this evening i did my hair and i tried a new method and honestly i really really love it but i don't know if i'm gonna be doing this all the time especially because right now we are in the cooler months and honestly i prefer to wear the wigs in the cooler months and like give my hair a break by like braiding it up and then oiling it underneath the wigs and stuff like that but honestly i really do like how i look with my hair out and i was saying it to my friend earlier and she was saying she feels the same too because she feels like um her hair kind of gives her back her youth or not really gives her back her youth because it's not like her youth is gone but it's just that it makes you look so much younger than the wigs you know the wigs kind of make you look grown up anyways we're not talking about that so my friend invited me somewhere which is all good in the hood you know i was ready to go out because i haven't gone anywhere in a while but i've been sitting here waiting for her for 26 minutes now right we were supposed to be there at 7 30 now it's 7 56 and not for nothing i have to be up at five o'clock in the morning to be back at work so honestly if it's too late i don't want to go and but i've been doing that a lot lately because i feel like there's nothing more important than i speak with my hands a lot you know pardon me i just had some coffee because i was hungry and i didn't eat because i was planning to go to this party and like load up on the food but we don't know how that's going yet because honestly i'm waiting for her and i already took my top off which means that i'm already changing my mind and sis is yet to tell me that her husband has picked her up and she's ready and i'm wondering too it's supposed to be a surprise birthday party so haven't they let me ask let me text her and ask her so what time are they getting back for us to surprise them because it's supposed to be a surprise like have you contacted the girl to see have you heard from ash Shelley's husband to see where they at for us to all be able to successfully surprise her because at this point I don't know what is going on and so like I was saying I was hungry because I ate lunch at work today and it wasn't very substantial at all it was light because I thought that I was gonna come home and eat but I came home and I had to sleep for an hour to make sure that I had enough energy to one perform at the party tonight and two perform at work tomorrow judging I'm not gonna get a lot of sleep because I'm gonna go to this party and come home at around 12 o'clock to go to sleep to wake up at 5 o'clock about five hours of sleep I've done it before and honestly I'm like pretty okay but it's not something that I like doing because I feel like there's nothing more important than good sleep and honestly good sleep is like eight hours because to deal with what I deal with girl and i feel like too not only that like with with um let me just pull it up really really quickly i took so many pictures just now in my clothes where everything else is just lost so with the current schedule that i'm running right today is sunday i worked friday today saturday i worked friday saturday working tomorrow sunday i'm working monday and then i'm gonna be off tuesday so i'm gonna need to reserve all that energy to work tomorrow and monday and just be good because I feel like when my body knows that my day off is coming up it really starts shutting down and like just eating up the energy that I have left quickly like it's eating on the reserve and we don't really like that and so I can't be doing all these things but I've, I've before the world went in lockdown I had said that you know I was gonna start going out more even if it meant just getting dressed and going to like a little bar and lounge by myself and like having a drink and eating some finger food and then coming back home because that is something that I like to do and I remember when I was back in Jamaica that is something that I used to do here and there whether it be with my friends or just by myself or like on a little date so I decided that that is something that I wanted to start doing more and then obviously coronavirus happened and that was not happening because everywhere was closed and so now that everything has started opening back up a little bit and people have already tested out the waters you know I'm beginning to think it's probably safe for you know me to do a little diving into the to the social circle here and there which I want to try but um oh I think I'd have to do that on like the days before my day off 
because when I work at my other job, I'm there for 10 hours out of the day. So honestly, the night before, I don't be wanting to do anything either, even though I wake up later to go there in the mornings because the 10 hours, it just takes so much out of you. Like the first world problems, like God, I'm grateful that I have a job and you know, I'm able to sustain myself and I'm able to be complaining about stupid things like going out and having to wake up to go to work tomorrow because honestly, some people don't have jobs and some people can't even afford to go out. So we're gonna be grateful casually just going off see this is, this is a problem right here anyways obviously I'm bored out of my goddamn mind because I'm sitting down here waiting for my friend it's now 801 she has not texted me back yet you see if it gets to 830 and homegirl has not called me it's a dub because honestly it's gonna take me 20 minutes to get there just message just reminding me my husband is home <laughs> saying she didn't smart the goddamn rat reminding me is so tonight leaving in 10 minutes okay message me when you leave so i can get my uber i'm gonna say gotta put my clothes back on because i'm not gonna be playing with her so um i forgot what i was saying earlier but now that we're getting to oh i was saying that if she didn't message me within like by 8 30 it would have been a dub because i'm planning to stay there until like 11 30 12 o'clock tops because i need to be home so i can get enough sleep to you know function tomorrow I also need to remember to tie my hair when I come home because honestly, I'm not trying to do this tomorrow morning. Like, we're gonna go with it like this. I stopped out of the block today and put some money on my Metro card. So we're ready to go where that's concerned. I have a few things coming up. Um, tried doing today, but wasn't too successful because of the timing and everything. Let me see what the weather is like outside too because I mean, I have to leave. We absolutely love. And I have another thing coming up in like a week that I have to be at, literally a week. That I have to be at one, two, three. Yep. Next week, this time I would have probably already been there. And um, I'm gonna be working the following Sunday too, so that's gonna be a drag. I'm thinking though, depending on how I feel, I might call out that Sunday. I'm not really sure yet. I'll just have to see. Because when you call out, you don't get like a bonus that they're giving at work, and I need the bonus, so I'm trying to not call out. But like I said, we'll have to see how that goes. So I said she, her husband is home, and she's gonna leave in ten minutes. So I'm gonna put the shirt back on, and hopefully she's really ready. Like the shirt is already soiled. From like makeup on my that's that's just crazy anyways this is what we're wearing okay everybody knows how it works with makeup this is exactly why i don't really like to wear white because the moment you put it on that thing gets messy so for the rest of this vlog i'm probably gonna insert some clips from the party if i get any but yeah gotta go put the shirt on to go Literally. 